the formidable robot. The 2016 to 2017 era had something going on in the meme community on YouTube. There have been edits and remixes centering around songs and clips from popular movies, TV shows, and other media, which had title templates like, insert song or clip from media here but insert random edit or remix here. Those memes could be anything, B-movie, Lazy Town songs like We Are Number One and The Mind Song, Let It Grow from Illuminations The Lorax, Ain't Got Rhythm from Phineas and Ferb, The Prodigent Antivirus, The Nick India Dad Promo, The Works. During that specific era, there was a playlist that had been going around on YouTube called, Important Videos, created by El Jolto, which had random meme videos with the first being Yi, and it was known to appear in the suggestions tab of any video randomly. Anyway, let's address the elephant in the room, which is the Lazy Town meme edits. Lazy Town was one of my favorite kids shows growing up, though the puppets from said show do creep me out in a good way. However, the show's memes sparked my childhood, and I will discuss one meme from it first. We are number one, from the 2014 season 4 episode, Robbie's Dream Team, exploded in popularity in late 2016 with its edits and remixes, and they were made in honor of Robbie Robbins actor Stefan Carl Stephenson, who was diagnosed with bile duct cancer and later died in 2018. It's cold-hearted to see your childhood actor pass away over one meme. To let you know what this song is, it's about Robbie and his three doppelgangers singing about how they are number one, and went on their crazy antics trying to catch the series hero Sporticus. The other meme I had to cover is the Mind Song, also known as It's Mine, from season one episodes Dear Diary, Pixel Spix, and Lazy Town's Greatest Hits. It involves Stingy singing about how everything in the town belongs to him, and the tune is surprisingly catchy as hell. Just like We Are Number One, it had gained edits to it on YouTube, with titles like, The Mind Song But Every Mind Changes the Visuals and or Audio, or, The Mind Song But Every Mind is replaced with, insert random clip or meme here, something like that. Most of these meme edits, along with others that weren't just Lazy Town, had suffered copyright claims on YouTube. Other edits were taken down and got their YouTube accounts copyright strikes, some even got their accounts terminated for the following reasons. The copyright claim thing happened to me when I made my mind song edits for viewers to enjoy. Now with that whiplash out of the way, let's talk about my experience with a lazy town meme edit that is unhinged and different. It was a cool night in November 2017, watching every random mind song meme on YouTube on my Windows 7 personal computer. I have seen videos like, the mind song but the description is filled, the mind song but every mind switches between heaven and hell, and stuff like that, until I stumble upon a mind song edit that is seemingly off-putting. What was off about the edit was the title, which is just called, the mind song but dot dot dot, and nothing else, implying that the ellipses on the word but had something going on in the video. The thumbnail was a frame of Stingy in the city, except the screen was highly deformed and darkened with black, white, red, yellow and purple colors. Strangely, the video had no views, it didn't tell what time it was uploaded, the timestamp was 1 minute and 5 seconds long, and the uploader's name was just ellipses and nothing else. Curiosity came to bite me in the ass as I clicked the video. As the YouTube page loads, the video starts like normal, with Stingy standing next to the blue mailbox. Stingy initiated the song by saying, This mailbox is- But when he got to the word, mine, strange shit really hits the fan. The scene glitched, and then a loud low-pitched beep is heard as the picture begins to warp. After that, the video returned to normal, until it got to the scene with the triangular construction sign. When Stingy says, And this triagonal sign, it changes again. As the video glitches with Stingy looking at the sign, the colors go into a dark brownish hue, and the sign changes from a sleeping construction worker leaning on a shovel on dirt to a crude drawing of a crying eye. It reminds me too much of that stupid Illuminati meme, and I can't stand looking at it but it turns out that wasn't the case. Accompanying this frame was a distorted sound of rushing water from a tap. After that, the scene switches to where Stingy looks at the blue balloon, still with that dark brownish color. The balloon rose in front of Stingy as he sings, That blue balloon, the month of June, until a faint burgling sound was heard. 
As the gurgling progressed, the word mine stingy said five times in the song played a loud pitching bending note of a violin, as the colors began to change even more and the video began to warp and contort. It got to the scene where Stingy pulled out Ziggy's sweets in each hand. After Stingy said, Ziggy's sweets are mine. I heard what sounded like a blood-curdling scream of an infant or a small child, and the video effects became progressively worse. A message in a dark red light IBM Plex mono font could be seen on the top left corner of the screen. It's like taking candy from a baby. I know that didn't sound remotely scary, but still, this video gives me that dreaded chill, so I encouraged myself to keep watching this weird as fuck video. As it reaches the scene where Stingy holds the sounds of the bird's tweets, the pitch of his voice starts getting deeper and the music distorts. The gurgling sound seemed to get stronger, and more noises began to faintly appear like banging and a kettle whistling violently. As Stingy said, That birdie's tweets are mine! It played a loud crack that almost sounded like a bone breaking in half. Then it cuts to Stingy in the street walking toward the camera as the visuals worsen even more, with the exact same frame from the thumbnail. Stingy continued with, The city street, both of your feet, they're all emphatically mine. And then the video cuts to a contrasting photo of rotted burned human feet on some concrete ground, followed by a gross sizzling sound. It makes me want to scream and vomit at the same time just by seeing that disgusting shit, but I managed to keep the bile down. It stayed like that for two seconds until it cuts back to Stingy, with the same color and visual distortion increasing. As the distorted Stingy continued the song like normal, the noises got louder and worse, and disturbing videos ghosted on the messed up screen. It's hard to tell what those videos were, but I knew they were somewhere from the deepest bowels of the internet, and seeing these makes me sick to my stomach. I have watched Mind Song edits that are creepy like the Mind Song but he slowly eats your soul, but this is damn too much for me. No big deal, so I progressed watching this strange edit. When the disturbing videos stopped ghosting and Stingy sang, I caress it, cause I possess it, I'm Stingy and it's mine. The screen flickers with loud engine-like noises plating the audio. On the top right corner, a new message appeared. Your parents cannot help you now. Like what the fuck? I knew this edgy and half-assed meme tried to scare the crap out of me, but that message alone is enough to give me even more dread since I lived with my mother and father at their house in Liverpool, and I was still 15 at the time when I saw this nightmare. As the highly fucked up visuals and agonizing noises continued, Stingy said, And this instrumental break is also mine? And then a new degrading sound was heard. It was a loud guitar riff, except it sounded as if the guitar was smashed into pieces against a thick object. Hell, it even vibrates the god-awful effects of the video as the noise is heard. Then, the ongoing disaster of a video cuts to a scene of Stingy in the living room. Just as he said, The floor and ceiling are mine. Another one of those the top sounds played, which is someone breaking down a door with an axe. Then we get to the famous scene where Stingy claims all your feelings. As Stingy, now in a deeper and satanic voice, said, All your feelings are mine! A loud and horrible sound of a woman screaming could be heard. Then I noticed something in the deformed and brownish red and black picture. Stingy's eyes were complete black voids. Yet another message is displayed on the top right of the screen. Spoiled brats. This alone makes me want to question the context behind the video. As Stingy drives his car and continues his singing, the visual effects and sounds increase to a disgusting level, and the unsettling ghosting videos return. When he said mine five times again, a Morse code was sounded. I can't tell what the Morse code said, though I guess it had some cryptic meaning behind it, like the messages that appeared in the video. As the video ghosting stopped again and the noises faded away, still with the strongly distressed visuals and audio of the song, Stingy in his car finally said, That's my song, it's mine. The scene lastly shows a deformed and crimson red Stingy, still with black voids for eyes, and a loud crash and splatter are heard. One last message on the top right appears. Good night forever.
After that, it cuts to a black and white photo of a teenage girl and another of a boy who is about three years old, with their eyes censored with black bars, lasting for about three seconds until the video finally ends. Unnerved and disgusted at what I had seen, I checked the video's description. There's no description whatsoever, but I noticed something off about the publication date of the video. Have you ever heard of the December 31st 1969 upload date glitch on YouTube? It's kind of similar to that, except the date of the video's upload was a different story. It was published on November 17, 1988. This baffles me hard because the World Wide Web hasn't been invented yet. The first ever uploaded video was Me at the Zoo during YouTube's debut in 2005, and Lazy Town did not air until 2004. I'd like to think that this Looney Tune who recently uploaded this video managed to hack the publication date on a popular video sharing website, and I know there's a new meaning behind that date. So, I Google searched November 17, 1988, and came across an archived article about two missing person cases, a 17-year-old girl named Mariel Cattle and her three-year-old brother named Rudy Cattle. On that same date, they were last seen in a small town in Colorado, heading toward a small dark blue van with the words free candy spray painted in white. This must have been one of those generic kidnapping schemes where a person tricks children into getting candy or whatever. Mariel and Rudy went missing for two days, that was until November 19th, when the police found Mariel outside of an abandoned warehouse but not found alive. I will not go into graphic detail on the murder, though it does involve a bucket of acid, which implies the feet in the video, a guitar that is bashed into pieces, and even a chainsaw. There were cryptic notes and doodles scattered around her body, which implied to be the same messages and drawing of the crying eye from the video. Oh yeah, one of the notes was an English translation of the Morse code heard at the near end of the video. The kid is mine, so keep your mouth shut you pig. Three-year-old Rudy on the other case is still missing after Mariel's death. The parents and siblings of Mariel and Rudy were disturbed and upset by the instances. What the hell? Why the fuck would someone make an edgy ass mind song meme based on a missing murder case that is 29 years ago, so does the publication date error when the video was uploaded to YouTube? This doesn't make any fucking remote sense whatsoever. I believe the uploader of the video was the one responsible for the kidnapping of Mariel and Rudy and even the murder of the former. To be fair, I think this so-called mind song edit was meant to be an ARG of all things, but the editing itself is disastrously intimidating. I checked the uploader's channel with triple dots for a name, and it had zero subscribers. Its profile picture was the default YouTube account icon, you know, the one that appeared in random colors on any YouTube account that didn't have interesting profile images. However, this default icon was black with the little person on it being light gray. The channel had only one video, which was that dreaded mind song video I just watched. After watching that abomination, nightmares infected my sleep like a virus, though I don't fucking dare go into detail about that. Later, I revisited that dreadful video via browsing history for more information, but it led me to the this video is an available display. Hell, even the account that published the video is gone, with the message saying, this channel does not exist. This somehow loses my marbles even more. I just watched a disturbing mind song meme centering around a tragedy from the late 80s, but then it disappeared entirely from the face of YouTube. Any instances of the tragedy have vanished from the internet, and it's as if it never really happened. It's like I just experienced a twisted Mandela effect that still haunts me to this day. I can never look at Lazy Town and its memes ever again after that, and I entirely deleted my mind song remixes and edits from my YouTube channel. My viewers asked me why I deleted my mind song videos, speculating it was due to copyright related problems. I told my viewers about the experience, but they didn't believe me. I told my parents and school friends about it, same response. They said that I just had a bad dream or a hallucinogenic episode, but that was not the case, and what I saw was real and traumatizing. I was the only bastard who saw that damned meme and the archived tragedy linked to it. Okay, enough rambling, let's finish this story with one sentence. It would be best that disturbing things we see on the internet should be better off lost 